Bless and praise be every moment with the most holy and divine sacrament. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Bless and praise be every moment. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Bless and praise be every moment. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us all bow down and worship the Lord. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful, kindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth your Spirit, and you shall renew the face of the earth, the fourth day, the dignity of the Christians. Together, thou in toil art comfort sweet, pleasant coolness in the heat, solace in the midst of war. Come, O blessed Spirit of fortitude. Uphold my soul in time of trouble and adversity. O Divine Trinity, grant that we may be strengthened to see in ourselves and each other the dignity that is ours as symbols of your Holy Spirit, to be loved by one another as each of us is loved by Jesus. We ask this through Christ our Lord. One our Father, one Hail Mary, and seven glory be to the Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was from the beginning, is now, and shall be. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was from the beginning, is now, and shall be. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was from the beginning, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. And I took consecration to the Holy Spirit on my knees before the great multitude of heavenly witness 
I offer my soul and body to you, eternal Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring cleanness of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. In you I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness. To grace I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully, God, my every thought and grant that I may always watch for your light and listen to your voice and follow your righteous inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you and I ask you by your compassion to watch over me in my weakness, holding the keys to the of Jesus and looking at his fire wounds and trusting in his precious blood and adoring his open side and stricken heart. I implore you, adorable spirit, helper of my infinity, so to give me in your grace that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, the Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Father and the Son. Say to you always and everywhere, Say, Lord, for your servant to hear it. Amen. Prayer for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. Christ Jesus, before ascending into heaven, you promised to send the Holy Spirit to your apostles and disciples. Grant that the same Spirit may perfect in our lives the work of your grace and love. Grant us the Spirit of fear of the Lord, that we may be filled with the love and reverence toward you. The Spirit of piety, that we may find peace and fulfillment in the service of God while serving others. The spirit of fortitude that we may bear our cross with you and courage overcome the obstacles that interfere with our salvation. The spirit of knowledge that we may know you and know ourselves and grow in holiness. The spirit of understanding, relying in our minds with the light of your truth. The spirit of counsel that we may choose the truest way of doing your will, seeking for the kingdom. Grant us the spirit of wisdom that we may aspire to the things that last forever. Teach us to be your faithful disciples and animate us in every way of your spirit. Amen. Continue, Almighty Power of the Holy Spirit, take complete control of each one of us who are here and who are not able to come to the church. May the power of the early Christian communities that you send continue to be with this community and especially, O oh Lord, we pray for the whole of Australia that more and more people will embrace faith. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for protecting us from every accident, misfortunes, and every virus. Send your mighty anointing to each and every one of us, especially as we are celebrating the feast of Our Lady, Help of Christians. We ask this prayer through Christ our Lord.
pattern of Australia. Let's place ourselves, our families, our children, all those who have taken um, shelter in this beautiful country. We pray for our religious leaders, especially our um, Archbishop Peter Kaminsoli, the other bishops. We pray for all our, all our lay leaders, the political leaders, and somehow or other, all those who work hard for their livelihood in Australia. We pray for all our indigenous people. That our Blessed Mother Mary's powerful protection be upon this land and our people. In a special manner today, we thank our Blessed Mother Mary who has helped us in this uh, great time of uh, pandemic virus. And I'm sure it should be a moment of gratitude to our Blessed Mother. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good evening to all of you. Good evening, Let us pause for a moment. For the times we have lived a life that was not pleasing to our Blessed Mother Mary's beloved Son Jesus, let us feel sorry. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words and what I've done, what I've failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. You have sent the healed upon the right heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
that the radiance of Christ may shine over this land, guiding us in the way of justice and love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. Wisdom brings up her own songs and cares for those who seek her. Whoever loves her loves life. Those who wait on her early will be filled with happiness. Whoever holds her close will inherit honor. And wherever he walks with the Lord will bless him. Those who serve her minister to the Holy One and the Lord loves those who love her. Whoever obeys her judges are right and whoever pays attention to her dwells secure. If he trusts himself, to her, he will inherit her, and his descendants will remain in possession of her. For though she takes him at first through winding ways, bringing fear and faintness on him, plaguing him with her disciple until she can trust him and testing him with her ordeals. In the end, she will lead him back to the straight road and reveal her secrets to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed, both now and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, praised be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is glory. that human wisdom 
should not know God, it was because God wanted to save those who have faith through the foolishness of the message that we preach. And so, while the Jews demand miracles and the Greeks look for wisdom, here are we preaching a crucified Christ to the Jews an obstacle that they cannot get over, to the pagans madness, but to those who have been called, whether they are Jews or Greeks, a Christ, who is the power and the wisdom for God. For God's foolishness is wiser than human wisdom, and God's weakness is stronger than human strength. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank Mother for protecting this country. 
And I ask mother, mother to be a mother, a true mother at this time. Matthew 6.33 Seek first the kingdom of Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything will follow. And a perfect example of the one who sought everything, one who depended, one who did the best service for God was our Blessed Mother Mary. And at this time, the ending theme was this, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. So Mother Mary has already given us this beautiful example. And Mother is at our side. Just like Jesus telling on the cross before the death. Look at that crucifixion scene. Everyone has abandoned. A moment of silence. And Mother Mary on the one side and John on the other side. And to tell him, looking to Jesus, looking to Mary, Jesus tells, Behold, this is your son. And John will be symbolizing the church. John will be symbolizing the entire humanity. And Jesus telling the mother, Mother, look after this church. Look after everyone who will have faith in me and those who would like to come to my faith. Look after them. Mother, I entrust the care of looking after the sheep into your care. And to John, this is your mother. On the cross, the Lord has told John, symbolizing the whole humanity, that you have a helper, you have a mother, not simply a mother, you have a true mother. And you tell her anything. She will look after you. And uh, John took mother to his home. This is what every Christian should do. Taking mother to their home. John took Mother Mary to his own. The whole humanity loves her mother because she is the mother of Jesus. Now we preach go for the sacrament of anointing. And from Mooney Pons, I got a small little book, a special phrase for the dead. Um, it is to help the preach. Maybe some preach may be having, but then I got that and when I came away from there, Father gave me the book because I was, I just had fallen in love with that. And uh, when we go for the extreme, extreme unction, extreme unction, or the last to white. And while we pray for the, for the dying, most of the time they will die as soon as the extreme unction is done and people wait for that to happen when the priest is there almost. And there is a particular prayer. Mother Mary, be a true, be a true mother at this time. Mother Mary, be a true mother at this time. Mother Mary, be a helper at this time when he or she struggles for his or her last breath. Jesus is interested in our mother. This beautiful gift of helping. And there is a reason she is known as the help of Christians. If she has helped Jesus, if she has helped the apostles and the early church, she will help all those who call the name of Jesus, all those who glorify the name of Jesus. And I'm sure 
she was you. And I know from my own personal experience, she has done it. So many times she has saved me from death, from accidents and misfortunes. And she being the mother of three, I'm sure she is powerfully present among the trees. She is to be consecrated as a mother of the families because she can help us. Son, there is no why. Do what is needed. That's the only thing she said. Son, they do not have why. I'm referring to the marriage feast at Cana. Son, they don't have wine. Do what is needed. Tell our blessed Mother Mary. A Mother Mary is so sensitive to understand the needs of each one of us. And that is the reason she is a media actress. She is a protector. She is a protector, protectress of the church. And she is the mother of the priest. And I'm sure, as a priest, mother will not abandon me. As family consecrated to Blessed Mother, she will not abandon me. And I'm sure today, as we have, as uh, the, 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 the country of Australia has reconsecrated, reconsecrated to our Blessed Mother Mary, she will not abandon us either. Pray through this, to pray, pray through the powerful intercession. We may come closer and closer to Jesus. And again, I come back to what I said in the beginning. Mother, help us to seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And may everything be well in our lives. Amen. Please stand for the profession of faith. <clears throat> I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, who was born of a father. Before all ages, God from God, life from life, through God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us, men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake was crucified and upon his pilot. He suffered death and was buried, rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is alone and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess with baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Almighty and merciful Father, we place before you through the powerful intercession of our blessed Mother Mary, we endorse you, our Holy Father, Pope Francis, cardinals and bishops and priests. That they may reach their holiness, following the example of our Blessed Mother Mary. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we once again we can't be consecrated this country to our Blessed Mother. Mother, thank you for freeing us from every type of pandemic virus and saving our parishes and all those who come to this church. Lord, hear our prayer.
prayer. We pray for the sick and dying. We pray for especially for those who are taking their life support due to COVID. We pray for John who is in the hospital, a paramedic. We pray for all the sick and suffering who are asked us to pray for. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we place the Catholic Church, the Mother Church, in times of need. Mother, you stretch out your hands and stretch out your hands upon people who have lost faith and the people who do not have any reverence for Jesus and you, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died last night, those who have died this morning, and will be dying tonight, and no one to pray for. Accept them, O oh Lord, and give them eternal life. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us submit all our prayers and petitions for the mighty and holy intercession of our blessed Mother Mary. Hail Mary. Holy, holy, holy Lord, 
God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is your come to the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the founder of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a new fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered into the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, bring from the chalice of my blood, blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. of faith. When we eat this bread and bring this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord until you come in. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer the Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread to our world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, Commons of the Bishop, the order of bishops and all their clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, his spouse, Blessed apostles and glorious martyrs in Jude and Mary may kill it, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be quiet to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And the Savior is commanded from the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we wait in joy for the hope of the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and Lord Jesus Christ, you said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look, not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace be with you. May this move the body and blood of our Lord Jesus. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. My friends, we are going to receive communion. And on this great feast day, think about those who are not able to receive a communion and support them with our praise. 
Oh Lord Jesus, you have given us in this holy Eucharist your body and blood to be our spiritual nourishment. Would that I be able to receive you this day in Holy Communion, I desire with all my heart to receive the living bread which comes down from heaven. O oh Lord, I am not worthy that you should end under my roof. Come to me, Jesus, my Master. Come and refresh me, that in union with you I may do perfectly the Heavenly Father's will. Let me never be separated from you by sin. Jesus, receive me. Immaculate Mary, pray for me. Behold, this is Jesus Christ. Behold, the Lamb of God, broken for us. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it.
We place our souls under your motherly protection. We promise to be faithful to your Christian vocation and to work for the great glory of God and the salvation of our souls. With the faith in the intercession, we pray for the church, for our family and friends, for youth, especially those most in need. You are our modern teacher. Show us how to imitate your worship, especially your union with God, your purity, your humility, your simplicity, your goodness, and total giving of self for others. Grant and Mary help a Christian the grace of which we stand in need. Pause for a moment and pray for our needs. May we serve God with fidelity and generosity until death. Help us and our dear ones to attain the boundless blessing of being with our Father in heaven. Amen. O oh, Blessed Mother, continue to bless our home. We ask you to favor us with your powerful protection. Preserve our homes from every danger, every pandemic virus, from fire, flood, lightning, storm, earthquake, thieves, vandals, and from every other danger. Bless us, protect us, defend us, keep us as your own. All the people who dwell in their own home and especially those who come to our church. Protect them from all accidents and misfortunes, but above all obtain for them the most important the grace of avoiding sin. May the help of Christians pray for all those who live in this home, in our churches, which is consecrated to you for all time. Amen. Let us pray. Refreshed by this heavenly sacrament of Lord our God, we pray for Australia, our earthly home, that with the help of the Virgin Mary, we may become a new creation in Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Lord be with you. With your strength. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God go through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, will in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of our mother, through whom you have been found worthy to receive the order of life. Amen. May you who have devoutly gathered on this great feast of Our Lady Help of Christians carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and a heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Then mind to the other patient. Defend us in the hour of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and sins of the devil. May God of you, King Hamlet, be pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander throughout the world, seeking the ruins of those. Amen. My dear friends, I wish each and every one of you the happy peace of Our Lady, help of Christians. May our Blessed Mother Mary be the protectress of our homes. May she preserve us from every type of pandemic, virus, deaths, accidents, and misfortunes. Good night, all of you.